Hey everyone, I'm Wei, and today I'm excited to show you a new configure workflow I just put together. It uses the Flux model to upscale any image, and you can grab the download link for it in the description below. Let's kick things off by looking at the results. Here's the original image before upscaling, and here it is after. It's been magnified seven times, and as you can see, the details in the eyes and teeth look super sharp and clear. This workflow has a couple of unique features that make it stand out. First, it's designed to work even on low graphic memory. If your system can't run a regular Flux model, you can switch this setting to true to use the GGUF quantized version instead. Second, it integrates Florence 2, which automatically generates prompts for us. The key part of this workflow is the ControlNet node. It uses the ControlNet Upscaler model, which was recently developed by Jasper AI. You'll find the download link in the description as well. Just click the link to head over to Hugging Face. Then hit the button to download a file named Diffusion PyTorch Model Tensors. Once it's downloaded, copy its name and rename it to Flux One Dev ControlNet Upscaler Tensors. After renaming. Move this file to your ControlNet folder, which should be under configui slash models slash ControlNet. That's it. Now you're all set to use it. Let's work through how to use the upscaling workflow step by step. Back in ConfigUI, upload the image you want to upscale. If you're using the quantized version of the Flux model, toggle this button to true. If you are sticking with the standard model, just leave it as false. The image size node shows the current dimensions of your original image. From here, set your desired magnification in the upscale image by node. Once that's done, run the workflow, and the image size node on the right will show the new size after upscaling. If the dimensions don't look right, you can cancel the current process and tweak the magnification until it's perfect. Now, depending on the Boolean value in the upper left corner, the workflow will automatically choose which node to use for loading the clip files. Moving to the right side of the workflow, there's a node that loads the ControlNet model. This is where the Flux ControlNet upscaling model we just downloaded earlier comes into play. The recommended ControlNet strength is around 0.6 but you can experiment between 0.4 and 0.8 to get the look you want. If you set the value lower, the final image will change more from the original, but you'll have fewer issues with details. But if you set it higher, it will stay closer to the original, but you might get more unwanted details. Finally, the last node is an image comparer that shows you a side-by-side -side view of the image before and after upscaling so you can easily see the difference. And that's it for this workflow. I've created a bunch of other workflows using the Flux model that have been pretty popular. So if you are curious, go check out my previous videos. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more free and interesting workflows.